So now we're going to have more mind clang. If you've been with us for a while, we try to get different mind clangs in there periodically. Um, and I love, this is like they're just entry level Bergenland red. Um, it's a really, at a really good price point and it is the perfect one if you're going to have um, a dinner party, not just because it is inexpensive, but also because it's one of those reds that can really play nicely with all kinds of foods. So let's find out why. So Mein Kling um, is out of Austria. They make lots of really well-known <laughs> wines. You'll, you'll find them in most natural wine stores. Um, and I really like their wines because they're generally super consistent um, and they have some stuff that's funkier, but for the most part, I would say that their wines are relatively classic, great price points. And this one is par for the course on that. So it's Weigelt, Blau Frankish, and Saint Laurent, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what the blend is on that. And let's smell it. So knowing what grapes are in it, um, I'm expecting it to smell and taste pretty deep. Those are pretty deep grapes, but I also know that they did fairly light extraction. Um, so I'm not expecting it to be like a big tannin bomb. So definitely darker fruit like plums and black cherries is what I'm getting on the nose. Lovely structure. So you could even have it, mine's a little bit chilled just because it's been in my basement um, and it's, <laughs> I'm in Massachusetts, so it's pretty cold down there. Um, and it tastes great that way. It, it would be fine if you serve it at room temperature. Remember room temperature is actually still uh, 65 degrees. I don't think many people are keeping their homes at 65 degrees. So even if you're leaving it out on your counter, just know that's not room temperature. Throw it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. And this could take even more of a little bit of a chill and it would still work great. So that dark fruit is here again. Um, and I would say like that on the palate more than the nose, I'm getting uh, tomato leaf. And thinking about pairings, this could go with all kinds of stuff, you know, go crazy at a party, like cheese plate, great. But it's not that often that you find like non-Italian wines or Spanish wines where they use a lot of tomatoes um, that go well with tomato dishes. And this is definitely one of those wines, like something about the way that it's structured says to me like, throw me with a pasta, I'm still gonna be great. You know, cause normally you say like what grows together goes together. And Austria is not famous for its tomato dishes, but this, this would work well with it. Um, so even if you're doing like a caprese, well, maybe serve it chilled if you're gonna do that, <laughs> but tomato based dishes, um, this, this would go great. And that's good because a lot of times I'm making tomato based dishes in normal times for parties. So this one is perfect for that. Enjoy. It is fun. Don't try and think about it too much. And, you know, it's got like the Stelvin cap. This is called the Stelvin, by the way, um, enclosure. It's not some fancy thing to age, something to open with friends. Think about it a little bit, but just generally enjoy it. So I hope you do.